Hey, a few years back, I went on this quest. I wanted to understand what makes some of these stories just incredible to listen to and what makes other stories not so interesting to listen to. What I did then, I analyzed thousands of stories. I looked at each one of them and tried to really understand what is it that makes it so special. After a lot of back and forth, I've landed on five key elements that make any story great. Are you ready for a very cheesy acronym? <laughs> All right. A story is here to serve. What does serve stand for? S for surprising, E for emotional, R for relatable, V for visual, and last one, E for edited. So let's look into the five elements of powerful storytelling. Let's dive into the first one, surprising. When you're telling your story or you're giving this presentation, you're fighting for your listener's attention. Every minute that you talk, they'll be like, oh, I might as well not check my Instagram or what, what am I gonna buy in the supermarket later on? Or ah, oh, what about that beach holiday? Ah. Oh. <laughs> you'll be fighting for the attention every single moment. Now, how can you make sure that they actually pay attention to you? and not to whatever else is giving them that hit of dopamine. It's by including elements of surprise. Elements of surprise is anything that your listeners didn't see coming, anything that is unexpected to them. Now, that can be really anything as long as your listeners didn't see it coming. Example, if you're sharing a story about, I don't know, your boss, something surprising could be when 20 minutes in, my boss walked up to me and said, Philip, you can pack your bags right now and leave. Whew, that's pretty surprising, right? Now you wanna know, whoa, where did that come from? Another example is mm, three months later, my client called me and he asked, uh, Philip, do you wanna join on this 10 day camping trip with us? Uh, what? <laughs> Just another example, right? Anything that is a little bit unusual, that could be an unusual event, an unusual activity, anything where your listeners are like, wait a second, how did, why, why is that? I didn't see that coming. So surprise is a powerful element that you wanna have in your story to keep your listeners glued to every word you say. Let's move into another element of powerful storytelling. Emotional. For that, I quickly want you to think about a childhood memory, any childhood memory, anything that pops to your mind. You got something? All right, now what I want you to think also, what emotions did you feel back then? Was it some pleasant or maybe some not so pleasant emotion? High chances is there was something attached to that memory. Now, think about it. Any time that we remember something, it's not because of the data or the facts that were around it, no. It's 100% due to the emotions behind it. So when you actually wanna be remembered by anyone in your story, you gotta bring in some emotions. Now I'll share with you my favorite technique to add emotions to any type of stories. My favorite, favorite technique to add emotions to any story is to share the inner dialogue. Inner dialogue refers to the thoughts that are going on in your head. We all have constantly thoughts in our heads, right? I think on average 6,200 thoughts. A lot of these thoughts are pretty anxious, right? We worry about all these million things that could go wrong. Share some of these thoughts in your story. Share some of the worries, some of the fear, some of the hope, some of the goals in your story. Let me give you a few examples. Um, I'd say I have a presentation coming up. When I share that story, I say, oh man, this presentation is gonna go so well, everyone will love it. They'll look at it and give me that promotion right after that. One example. Another example, oh man, that sucked, right? I really messed up this presentation. Everyone will think oh, I'm a failure. Everyone thinks that I'm stupid. Another example. See, just share some of the inner thoughts that are going on. It will immediately, but immediately make it more emotional. Next element of great storytelling, relatable. When I started off on this storytelling journey, I always thought I need to tell these stories about crazy experiences. 
about how I almost died in that car accident or walked up to Mount Everest or how I sold my multi-billion dollar company. To be clear, nothing of these have happened yet, yet. But just think about it, right? How many people do you know who have gone through these extreme experiences? Not that many, right? And why does it matter? Well, the main objective of storytelling is to connect to your listener. They should hear your story and think like, ah, oh, this could happen to me. I can see myself in that situation. For that to happen, you don't want to share a story about an extreme event. What you rather want to do is you want to share a story about a relatable challenge, something that they can see themselves in. Let's talk about another element of powerful storytelling. Visual. When you tell that story, your listener should be able to see it in front of their eyes. They should feel as if whatever is happening right now is happening to them. They should feel as if they were part of that story. No. How can you do that? Let me share with you one of my favorite, favorite techniques to make it more visual bring us more into that visual moment. That technique is called outer dialogue. Outer dialogue, that's the words that were used in the crucial moment of that story. It's the direct words that were used in that moment of the story. Let me give you some examples. One example is you tell that story and your customer is very happy about it and you tell it like that. There you can use outer dialogue. You can say, two weeks later, my customer called me and said, wow, thank you so much. You did an incredible job there. When can we work with you again? One example. Second example, say about your boss being very unhappy with you. Uh, well, my boss called me and said, why did you change that? The slides are all messed up right now. This is really not good, right? See, it's a tiny change, but it makes a big difference. It makes it much more visual. I know that you're freaking out right now. You're thinking, Philip, how can I remember something that someone said a year ago or five, 10 years ago? No chance, right? So that's you, don't worry. I don't remember anything that someone said a few years back. But in these moments, you have some creative freedom, right? Use the words that could have been said in that specific moment. Don't worry that you need to have exactly the words that were used in that moment. You have some creative freedom. Last element. Edited. I've coached by now thousands of people on storytelling. And I'd say there is one thing, one thing that 90% mess up. They tend to tell stories that are too long or too complex. Now, if you're in a business setting, you have maybe a minute, two, max three minutes to tell your story. Not longer than that. If it's longer, you will lose your listener's attention, guaranteed. Now, how can you make sure that your story is edited? Well, once you've written your story down once, go through it and ask yourself three questions. One, is all that context needed? If not, cut it out. Second, do I really need any of these side characters? If not, eliminate them. And third, what are the crucial moments of the story? If it's not a crucial moment, cut it. Now, by reflecting on these three elements, you'll make sure that your story is laser focused and gets to the point as quickly as possible. All right, these are the five elements of powerful stories. So let's remember, surf, S, surprising, E, emotional, R, relatable, one V <laughs> visual and the last one E edited and when your story has these five elements oof, it will be an incredible incredible story so try to see how you can add these elements to your story but also try to pay attention next time you hear a story see almost like checking the boxes what elements are they using if it's a really good story high chances are they're using exactly the elements you learned today if you like the video, please quickly hit that like or subscribe button. I'd love to see your support and 
check out all these other videos that we have on our channel. Uh, lots of videos on business storytelling, sales storytelling, and also public speaking. So check it out wherever you are, happy storytelling. Thank you.